as you can probably tell by the unnecessarily loud tire noise in the background from going 75 miles an hour we've started the 600 mile trip one way to raleigh north carolina uh let's see i got on the road about 3 30 it's about 6 3 45 it's about 6 30 now so i've been going for like three hours three and a half hours something like that finally uh Got about 250 miles out of this tank. It was a little under full, wasn't 100% full. So we're gonna be stopping here in a minute to get some gas. Sun's finally starting to come out. Looks pretty good. So, uh, so far so good. I mean, the truck's been riding really good. I mean, I'm just joking about the tire noise. Um, it's it's actually not too bad. Hey, there's a Lamborghini. Just drove by. Um, making good time. I should get there about 12, one o'clock, something like that. Maybe get some fishing in today, but I mean, the main point of this video today is just kind of document how the 600 mile trip is. I've only ever been from Tallahassee to Jacksonville, so holy crap, look at that, there you go. That's, that's beautiful right there. I've only ever, been, ever, only ever been from Tallahassee to Jacksonville, which is about two and a half hours with the 375s before. I have made this trip with the six inch lift and the 35s, but I mean, that's nowhere compared to what we're doing today with the 375s, so. Um, gauges are looking good, tires are riding really good, not, not too noisy, no, nothing more than I'm already used to. Everything is riding really smooth. Uh, I checked the play in the in the uh, hubs and everything yesterday, so I mean we're we're looking really good. So let's uh, stop for gas real quick, get something to eat, fuel me and the truck, and get the bread, bread gang back on the road. I know I'm acting like this is some big, huge, crazy trip that I'm going on. Ooh, hold on. But I mean. 600 miles on 15 wides and 14 wides isn't you know the easiest thing to do so but everything's looking good like i said i've said it like a hundred times everything's looking good i mean we're, we're making good time though got some gas let's see where we're at yeah a little under full so i'll probably get another 250 gallons out of that but we are going to get back on the road so we can get this bread here it was saw a lamborghini drive by and then about five minutes later i'm pulling up on uh whatever kind of Lamborghini this is. Man, that's pretty cool. Leave a comment below if you know what kind of Lamborghini that is. So, so far on this trip, other than, hold on. The two highlights of the trip at the moment are, one, Lamborghini that you guys saw pretty cool and two I'm over here dozing off about to fall asleep and I look in my side view mirror and I'm like Holy is that my truck and literally of all things other than a Lamborghini that drives by a single Lamborghini on a tractor trailer a truck silver you know all the same accents everything except for you know that he's got stockley headlights and everything pulls right up next to me and other than you know the 375s it was essentially the same truck i don't know what kind of lift he had but if of course those of you that are ogs to the channel you know i can't go over 75 miles an hour in this thing so it's not like i can catch up to him but the the chances of seeing a lamborghini and then a truck that looked just like mine are you know those are the two things i would not have expected my next plan of action i did not get anything to eat when i when i stopped to get gas the first time so i'm looking for a bojangles that's what i'm looking for um you can't do anything on this channel without you know without going to bojangles now the two things i do want to really try and do on this trip are other than go to the OG Bojangles like what really started as a kid I used to go to Bojangles up here in Raleigh and there's the same one I always went to every time right by my grandparents house so we're, we're gonna go back to the OG Bojangles with you guys and then of course that you guys know I haven't worn it in a while because it's a long sleeve shirt and it's been it's just been stupid hot in Tallahassee is the black NC State shirt the last time I went up to North Carolina in October I got that one and I've been just just wearing the hell out of that thing so we're gonna make a trip and I'm probably gonna end up making a full video out of us me going and deciding what my new favorite NC State shirt is going to be. So stay tuned for that in the upcoming videos. But this this trip, it's actually, I mean, it's about 7.30 now. And I'm about, I wouldn't say halfway, maybe a little, a little under halfway. But um, Savannah's halfway, I think. I'm about an hour from Savannah. So yeah, a little under halfway. But we're making good time. Everything's going pretty good. 
I know I keep saying that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm stressing a little bit, but we're, we're gonna get there. And one thing that I always think is funny is every time you're on road trips and stuff and you start traveling, you always find those one or two people that, you know, you're driving for a long time and then you stop at a rest stop and they pass and then at some point they stop and then you finally catch up to them again. Well, this is one of those times, but with the Lamborghini again, if it'll, there we go. The Lamborghini's back. I saw it like really early on this morning at like six o'clock, maybe five something when I was on uh, 95 and now we're back with the same Lamborghini again. So this seems to be the uh, the highlight of the trip right now is being able, again, if anybody knows what kind of Lamborghini this is, put it in the comments below. It's freaking awesome. I wonder if that's going to street speed, maybe. Oh, let me get back on the road before I, before I wreck. Man, I'm gonna need to get towed home. Two things, one, my hair looks pretty good. Well, three things, one, my hair looks pretty good right now. Two, South Carolina, Huge shout out to you for having the roads in all of America. And then three, I went ahead and put my seatbelt on just in case my dad watches this video. He's going to get on to me for not having my seatbelt on. See, there you go, dad. Um, somewhere in South Carolina, I'm going to have to stop for round number two of gas here in probably the next 30 minutes or so. I think what I'm going to do is probably just push all the way through because the Bojangles I normally go to is on, is on the same exit that I get off to go to my aunt's house, which is where I'm headed right now. So I'm probably just gonna push through a couple more hours and just go straight to Bojangles and then we'll end this video at Bojangles. So bear with me. I know time's gonna pass really quick in the video, but I've got another three hours to go. So I will see you guys at Bojangles. There, there we go, there we go. So I'm sitting here at the gas station pumping gas. I go in and I get some, some first of all, it's my first time ever trying rap snacks. Rap snacks with the Dabber Ranch, y'all know that song? Um, I go in there and I'm you know, just talking to the lady in there and she kind of looks out the window She's just like That wide bow tie and I'm like You're shitting me. There's no way. I'm in the middle of nowhere like Somewhere in South Carolina like 30 or 40 miles from Florence like I'm nowhere near home And I'm and I kind of stopped and I turn back around. I'm like wait what and she was just like yeah The the big the big wide bow tie and she was like yeah my, my buddy sent me your truck the other day on Instagram and I'm just like Holy crap, like that, that's crazy right there. So if you end up watching this video, you are awesome, that is crazy. Like I'm in the middle of nowhere and somebody like recognized my truck, made my day right there, made the trip worth it. I know we're on the way to Bojangles, but I just wanted to stop and, and let y'all know about that because that was freaking insane. So I'll see you guys at Bojangles. Rap snacks. Oh, and I got a uh, Slim Jim too. Okay, finally, we are finally pulling up to the spot. Finally pulling up to Bojangles. I drove 600 miles to come to a Bojangles again. Wow, what a surprise. Oh. So I pulled up to Bojangles and you know did this whole outro, this whole elaborate thing, and uh, then I realized that there was music playing in the background and I can't use it now. So, but I've pulled up to the Bojangles. This is the spot. I'll get a little bit of footage as we're leaving, just so y'all can see what it looks like. We're gonna run and get some food. Stay tuned for the videos this weekend. I'm sorry that this video wasn't the most action-packed thing in the world. It's a nine-hour drive, and I needed something to do. So, what better way than to pass the time than to have some fun? We did see a Lamborghini today, um, Durango SRT. I saw that Lamborghini like three times, actually, the green one. And then um, there was something else. Oh, that lady that saw me at the gas station. That was kind of cool. So I'm going to run in here and get some food. Stay tuned. Um, hopefully car meet and some dumb stuff tomorrow. Truck show on Saturday. And then JW. I didn't mean to flick off. Um, and then JW on Sunday. So, I mean, I got a huge weekend planned. Um, hope you all enjoyed your 4th of July. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you all like it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps my videos on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna run inside and get some food. Let's 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 get this bread. <laughs>